another video. Um, today, it's going to be a very quick one, I'm just going to quickly show you how to install X meaning X server for Windows so you can display your GUI programs on your Windows subsystem for Linux. So what you're going to want to do is hop over to Google, just type in X meaning, click there, I'll leave a link in the description as well if it makes it easier. Um, download it and then just go through all the sort of steps, uh, you can leave it as default, doesn't really matter. Um, I've already installed it so I'm not going to do that. But once you've done that, you can head over to your to your sort of your terminal thing and then open up open up what we're talking about um, and then just type export all caps display equals colon zero and then what that would do then because I think it runs over a network it will sort of send it to your server here and then it will show you your programs. So I've installed a couple earlier. Some work better than the others. Obviously, this isn't officially supported by Windows, so sort of hit and miss with a few things. I tried Caden Live, I couldn't get it to run like at all. Um, but a few I have managed to run, so let's just have a look at how it works. So, if we open up it's Tmux, just so I, oh, I've got no sessions, just so I can open more than one program relatively easily, we just open up three. Right, we're going to try and display all of them at once. We're going to try and get OpenShot QT, VLC, and get it. So what we're going to do is type the VLC here. There we go. VLC is working. Now we're going to hop over to the other pane. We're typing OpenShot QT. There we go. That's also running. And then we'll get get it up on this one. So do 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 do. Type and get it. There we are. Right, I'm just going to minimise this for the moment. So, I mean, it all works fairly straightforward. So, if you just make a file, blah blah blah, blah save, and we'll call it, uh, we'll just call it XGUI. Did I save it in my documents folder or I don't know? So, if we didn't open up another pane, I'll tell you what, actually, we'll just close. Not close. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. So what we do is we shall just type in ls, and there you go, xgui. So it all works. Saving works. Obviously, I doubt you're going to want to edit a full video on the open shot here. Oh yeah, you might as well just download the Windows version if you're going to go that far. Um, but yeah, there's not really a lot more I want to show you. I just wanted to show you how simple it was, and, and you can sort of give it a go yourself and see how far you get. Obviously, you get a few sort of problems here and there with like the sort of the processing of the image lagging behind a bit but other than that it seems to work all right um, hopefully Windows actually supports it properly at one point and then uh, you'll have a nicely integrated way kind of like the way Chrome OS is doing it at the moment actually in fact this is not that different kind of anyway thank you for watching and please subscribe <laughs>